he teaches on different topics, different things that have become issues over the years. Yeah. Yeah. And he gets to chapter 6, and if you notice chapter 6, he starts out teaching on about giving. About giving, and, and, and he goes on, then gets over to the latter part. And verse 19, he talks about treasures on heaven. And, 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 and he'll jump back and forth, but throughout this whole chapter, I'm telling you because I want you to get the verse number 24 and understand why, amen, that we got lost in the last portion of verse 24. But fail to really understand the magnitude of 24a. If I had to break 24 down, I would be saying 24a, b, and maybe c. Bibles, amen, are composed, and the com people that compose the Bible put together things in a certain way. But the 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 the, the, the Spirit of God teaches how to place that word in our mind. Amen. It may be laid together in the Bible in a format, but the Spirit takes the word and lay it in your mind in a format of usability. Amen? Amen? Usability. How you use that word and become the best impact. People that really study the word, you will notice they quote scriptures and they remember scriptures, not chronological, but they remember scriptures how they are tied together. Amen? How they apply. They remember Romans 6 and 23, and then they'll remember another scripture, amen, because it talks about saving. Amen? Being saved. And, and so, these scriptures we're looking at here, 24, it says, no man can serve two masters, and then it goes over, either will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. Then in the B portion, if we, we, we did that, you, you cannot serve God and mammon. And we got stuck there understanding that we're believing that the challenge he's showing us is trying to serve God and money. But it's far from that, saints. This scripture is far from trying to let us see the difficulty of serving God and money. We will, I will hope today, share with this scripture into a way where he show you there's a far greater difficulty than just trying to love God and money. All right. If I could slow down for a moment and take you back, it says that the law states that a person cannot drive a motorized vehicle or car without a license, but many do so. Further, the law states that we must wear a seatbelt when driving or riding in a vehicle. But how many know many chose to not do so? Yes, sir. The law gives certain restrictions and guidelines that a child must ride in a car seat until a certain age, but many don't. The law tells us to not drink and drive. But many do it anyway. Yeah. To be honest, the law and life itself caution us about many things we cannot do, but we but many do them anyway. Yeah. The, the, the law says that you cannot do something, but you find in life that people still do it. But what many fail to realize is that when the law tells us that we cannot do something, it doesn't mean we cannot do it, but it means if or when you do it, there are consequences we risk or will suffer afterwards. Come on, come on, man. Amen. Because mankind is generated by the simplistic mind that he has, and when you say you can't do something and they find themselves doing it, they believe that they have overcome the power that's laid in their scriptures. 
Many people are doing things that the scripture said they cannot do just because they can do it, not understanding that the scripture does not tell you that you are incapable of doing it. It is letting you know that there's consequences, there's risk involved, and there's some things you're going to have to deal with if you do it. I told you all, I, I always thank my grandson for this, this, this revelation that I have because I found out early with him telling him not to do something just didn't work. It seemed like, my brothers and sisters, the more I told him not to do it, the more he showed me he could do it. Because I was telling him not to do it, and his mind is saying, but I can do it. But his mind is right. So I quit telling him to not do it. I said, I tell him that he should not do it. And if he do it, I said, go ahead. Go ahead and do it. Let's get to the risk. Let's get to the consequences. And after he began to understand the consequences, uh -huh. by telling him don't do it, change its effect. Yes, sir. So now when I tell him you can't do something, amen, he may come back down and ask why. He, he need to know what's going to happen now. He just may not do it. But I need us to get this scripture in our head today that in Matthew 6 and 24 that Jesus brings to light and tries to bring the mind of people to another level because he instructs them on some things, but now he's bringing them into trusting in one master. The entire concept of four and five is Jesus become making his way, his word more preeminent than and fulfill the Old Testament. Yeah. He's bringing a new and better way. If you look at 5 and 6, Jesus is bringing a new and better way from into the New Testament. And he's having to deal with those of the law to show them what he's saying is better. So at this point, he over the period of time, they have not understood having one master. They have had to serve leaders. They've had to serve uh, the scribes. They have to serve the Sanhedrin. They had to serve all those in the temple. But now Jesus is saying, trusting one master. He's saying this, that even though they had done this, they were not able to be effective. What it says here, when the Bible says no man can serve two masters, it doesn't mean we won't try to do it. It says that we, now, now look at the scripture, no man, no, no, notice this now. See, it says no man, it doesn't say no man should not. He said no man can serve two masters. And if Jesus said you can't do something, that leaves record that it's impossible to do it. Amen. First, you have to understand what it means to serve. See, serve in, in, in the aspect of, of the definition of serve is to perform duties or services for another person or organization. Allegiance to that one. To work for or labor in behalf of. To exert one continuously or steadily for the benefit to do the service for. For that one. It said no man can give that much to two different people. All right, all right. No man can do it and give it to two. You may be look like you're doing it. <laughs> you may look like it. You may be have boots over across town and a hat over here. Uh -huh. But 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 you can't do it. Amen. <laughs> because not because I said you can't do it. Not because your, your mama didn't say you can't do it. Not because your daddy did not say you can't do it. It's because Jesus said you cannot serve two masters. What we have here is because I'm able to drive and drink, I think I'm all right. I'm able to get by without a seatbelt and the law told me not to do it. I think I can do things that said I cannot do. Because I'm able to do things that the law says. But Jesus is greater than the law. Yeah. He's mightier than the law. And when he said you cannot, you cannot. 
So you can't. What it means here, my brothers and sisters, that you, he, so he goes back and said, you cannot serve two masters. You, you're going to be doing it if you're going to hate one. Oh, let me just slow down. It says, see, you can try to do it. But no matter how much the Bible says what we cannot do, that we really try to prove God wrong. Many are able to try to show God that I can do this. Well, when the scripture says no man can serve two masters, what it really is saying, you will not be successful doing it. Amen. Amen. You will not be successful in doing it. Amen. You may be applying yourself. You may be going through the process. You may be walking through the steps. You may be half over here and half over there, but you will not be able to be successful in doing this. Amen? Amen. Unfortunately, many of us fall into the trap of serving two masters. Many of us fall into the trap of serving two masters. We don't start out planning to serve two masters, but it happens unintentionally. We make choices that end up having us serving where we don't want to serve. Yeah. Doing what we didn't plan on doing. Are y'all following me? If, if, if I told you, we heard this along, and said, are you trying to serve two masters? Most folks don't say no. But in reality, when we look at serving, we'll easily find ourselves trying to serve two masters. Yeah. If we could turn to Luke 15 and 11, I'm going to give you amen, an example of one that had tried this, maybe not intentionally, but found themselves in that very predicament that you and I are trying to avoid. When we get to Luke chapter 15, amen, we're going to go to verse number 11. Yeah. Mother, looking at Luke 15 and, and 11, I say mother because she had more experience in telling people what they cannot do. And I'm sure many of them tried to prove her wrong. Uh -huh. I watched my church mother tell me things over the years and she said just watch and see and everything she told me watch and see has came to pass it may look like they're getting away with it it may look like they're going to do that but eventually my brothers and sisters my church mother has always came back on right because no man because anytime we try to do what the Bible says you can't do, you're going to lose. You're going to come up short. See, you may be able to do it behind the back. You may be able to do it where folks don't see you. You may be able to fool some of the folks some of the time. But you can't fool God none of the time. Oh, help me, Lord. If God says you cannot, uh, help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Well, in Luke chapter 15, there it says in verse 11, he said, and there was a certain man who had two sons. And the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of the goods that fallen to me. And he divided unto him his living. What that means is he gave it to him. He said, I want it, and he gave it to him. And the Bible said, verse 13, and not many days after the younger son gathered all together and took his journey to a far country, and there wasted his substance with righteous living. And verse 14 says, when he had spent all, there rose a mighty famine in the land, and he began to be in want. Verse 15 says, and he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country, and he sent unto him his fields to feed the swine. And feed the swines. He began to serve in their fields. He began to serve according to their way. So when we look down the verse 19. Let, let, let me just read it real slow because I want you to get this. He went to there. He did not go, Brother Jarvis. 
to serve nobody else. He did not go there to serve in the pig pen. It said, and when he and he said and, and he said that, and he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country and sent in, 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 into the field to feed the swine, and he would fain have filled his belly with the husk that the swine did eat. No man give it to him. He was he just could eat what the hogs ate. And it says verse 17, when he came to himself, he said, How many hired servants of my father's house have bread enough? and to spare, and I perish with hunger. Mm -hmm. And he said, I will arise and go to my father's house, and I will say unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before thee, and I am no more worthy to be called thy son. Make me as thy high servant, because I, I, tr I, 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 I tried serving two masters, and, and I couldn't do it. And, 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 and so I, I found out I need to come back and serve. See, what we have here is the prodigal son. He, 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 you see, he left home with plenty of money. He left home with a, an inheritance. Brother Matthew, do you not understand? I, they don't, let me look at my footnotes and see if they give me the dollar value on him. But if I had it right, an inheritance is supposed to last you a lifetime. When they left an inheritance, they didn't leave them a couple of dollars. Right. They left them enough to last them a lifetime. That's it, that's it. But what happened here is that he went into a country and he tried to serve two masters and found himself in the danger of serving, having double duty. Mm -hmm. See, I don't care how much that's why you're going to find and say man and man and man, God and mammon. God, no matter how much resources you have, you don't have enough to serve two masters. Many of us are struggling not because God did not provide for us, but we're struggling because we're trying to serve two masters. See, what happened was he took his inheritance and he tried to serve. He had to pay no. When you're serving two people, you got to pay two people. Let me just make it plain. If you're living in two houses, you got to feed two houses. If you're driving two cars, you got to put gas in two cars. If you're working two jobs, you got to have the energy to work two jobs. Whatever you're doing is going to require double duty to do. And because he went into a foreign country and, 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 and it required more of him. See, here, they said, well, Pastor, he was down there. He wasn't sending no money home. He wasn't doing nothing but taking care of one. But what has happened, the father has given him enough money that had he been serving back there, he would have only needed to spend a small portion of what he would spend somewhere else. Oh, y'all getting it now? See, being in a serving when you go and serve in somewhere else, they require more of you than it would if you were back at the regular servant. Hello. So, so where he could go and eat at daddy's house and then save his money for the weekend, he had to pay for every meal he ate. He had for every meal he ate, everything he drank, he had to pay for. Everything he ate, he had to pay for. Everywhere he went, he had to pay for. Every ride he got, he had to pay for. Oh, thank you, Jesus. See, 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 now you understand that no man can serve two masters. It's going to cost you too much. See, by him choosing to leave his father and not serve his father, but guess what? He's still tied to his father. He has a lead to his father. Because at the end of the day, I don't care where you go, you still are alive. That's right. That's it. That's it. it don't matter where I go, at the end of the day, I'm still a black man. Come on, come on. And, and, and there are requirements in life as long as you're tied to a family. That's it. That's it. See, there are requirements. So, so, so watch this. So now, amen, he's gone and he don't, because he's 
tried to serve. He tried to keep the name. He tried to be independent. Notice this. After he was there a while, everything was gone. What did he do? He joined himself to a citizen of that country, which means now, he, but watch this. He, he's able to get resources from that country. Prior to that, he couldn't eat lest he paid. He couldn't sleep lest he paid. So now he got he's giving over to be their master. So so he's no longer with his father because he gave up his citizenship. And now he's surviving now because he's surviving under another master. Oh, how many people that gave up their rights? How many that gave up their rights? You're not getting blessed, you're living by grace. See, here's what I'm trying to help you understand because it says in the footnote, the prodigal son, a lost son, was a abuser of grace. Grace is more of the divine as unmerited or earned favor. He had favor at home, yeah. but he had to pay bills out there. Yeah. <laughs> he had favor at home, yeah. but he had to pay the taxes out there. Yeah. So, so if you don't pay taxes, you got to work. So now he gives up his one master. Now he's serving his one master now. Now he could stay there forever now because he's serving one master. But it came to himself that I'm serving the wrong master. See, if double duty will have you blinded. You think you're going to be all right. You think you're going to be okay. Till he woke up one day and he could no longer serve. He had to choose. And I need you to understand, my brothers and sisters, that the enemy will wear you down. He will make it look like you can do both. It make you look like you can do this. He can make you look like you can hang out all night and still come to church. He can make it look like you can do this all week and then do that. But at the end of the day, he's working on your anointing. He's working to rob you of your rights. He's taking everything that God has put into us. <laughs> now, now, because it's not the fact that you can't do it, but you won't prosper. You won't benefit. It's going to hurt you. So, so as I move, try to close, because I just want to share this word with you to understand. It says here that 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 one two, amen. But when someone serves two masters, it requires you to have dual output. When you are serving two masters, it requires dual output. And because he was in a country that he had not paid into, y'all follow me now. He had not built up citizenship in it. And now guess what? I remember I told you everything he went, he didn't get a break. He had to pay as a how many know you have to pay taxes as an out of town. Buy a car in another state and come home. Yeah. You're gonna have to pay taxes yes, from where it came from. Am I right, Brother York? I think I got that right. I'm most of mine. Because no man can serve, you can't live in Georgia. And get a break in Florida. Come on, come on. If you come get the car in Florida, you got to give them what they. Yeah. See, you cannot serve two masters. Ha. See, no matter how we try, and see, so so what happens? It looks here, Amen. When whenever it goes on, it's going to go out two ways. That's it, that's it. And we wonder why my paycheck don't last. You got people working with you and they get the same money you making and you broke in two days and they got money all week. Y'all get the same paycheck. Y'all ever seen that? You working on a job with folks, they got your same grade, same rate, but your money going further than theirs. Because when you serve in two masters, you got to pay both of them. You got to pay for feeding two mouths. You got to pay for clothing too, my. You got to pay for living. Oh, help me, Lord. I, I, I think you're getting now. When life, when, when your life has dual output, you will always come up short. Yeah. And many times, we're coming up short. We can't get ahead because if we, if we don't commit to God, I will throw this in here. A part of committing to God is paying your time. And, and, and if we're going to serve two masters and not pay God but use it for somewhere else, your output is going to become less and you're going to struggle. But, but, but unintentionally, you're not saying you're serving two masters, but because of the requirements, you are. 
because you got to pay for both. Because God said, I shall supply all your needs according to his riches and glory. When we give him his, he takes care of us. Yeah. He makes sure we don't run out. Oh, I, I, I've used this for many years. I wasn't going to talk about this, but my wife, we, 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 we went through that years ago. Years ago. And I, she, if, if she locked the door when I get home, y'all know why. I remember when we were working and she, she, she was working. And I remember when she, she, she got her check and I said, she... All right, she's going to work the handle out check and she's going to handle her money. And after a few months, her check didn't go as far as it did when we kept it together. It didn't do what it did when it came and we put it together. And after a while, we saw that wasn't working. She wasn't started working and, and, and it came back together and she ain't never wanted again. Because the dual output if our money is going two separate ways, it's going to always be less than if we're together. Not because we're making more money, because we got we serve the one master. Hello, somebody. Right. See, we don't understand that God has spiritual principles that back up what he wants us to do. Yeah. If we do it God's way, he's going to bless us. Yeah. If when he said, leave and cleave, he made us one. Yeah. In a marriage relationship, that's what causes divorces and failed marriages, because trying to serve two masters. Yeah. If, 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 the, if the two churches, like right now, people say, how are you able to go between two churches and get things done and be able to make it work? I couldn't do it out of Brooks if I was going to a Methodist church and, and, and this was a church of God in Christ. Come on, come on. If I was going to a church that had different rules, different doctrines, and caused me to operate different, I couldn't do it. Amen. I can only do it, Brother Matthews, because we didn't want. We serve in the same head. We operating on the same principles, and we're not split. Amen. What I do here works there. Amen. What I do there works here. Amen. It's not two. Amen. How can we? Because you can't serve two masters. You cannot operate in two different mindsets. Amen. If you are connected to somebody that's going this way, and you try to go this way, my brother and sister, it's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time. Because we cannot serve two masters. So, so it says that no one can serve two masters for either will. Now, this is what it gets the, the part that we don't get. Let me help you. It says that these are things going to happen. It says that what's going to happen, you will either hate the one. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You're going to hate the one and love the other. At some point, that's why you begin to hate one. What did the prodigal son do? When he went there, he loved where he was. Am I right? But after a while, he began to hate where he was. Because he was trying to connect back home. He couldn't stay there and love being there and love home. His affection had to change for the one that he cared the most about. And, 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 and when his affection became clear, his commitment became clear. Right. See, your commitment cannot come when you're serving two masters. Your commitment will not kick in because you're going to be dual, dual, dual headed. See, his commitment now changed when he said, I can go home. If I just go back and look at the scriptures, he said, he, he said now. And when he done spent everything, he realized that he couldn't serve both. He don't have enough money. You don't have enough time. You don't have enough energy. We don't. We don't have enough energy or time or money to serve two masters. We don't have enough strength to serve two masters. And I found out, my brothers and sisters, that you can be helping folk that serve another master and they are draining you. They'll take everything you got. When God said you can't serve two masters, he said it can't be done. It can look like you're doing it. But it's only a matter of time. Only a matter of time before it wear you out. Before it take you out. Before it take everything you got. Because why? You're going against the very word of God. You're going against his word. And we cannot my brothers and sisters, we cannot go against God's word and be able to survive. 
So I look, and as I go back and try to look at the end of this, he says this. It says, no man can serve two masters. He either will, what? Hate one and love the other. And, 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 and you'll notice in things that you're doing, uh -huh. you may start off doing them. But, but if you're trying to do two different things, after a while, one gonna come up short. Yeah. Yeah. There's only my wife. She 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 does a good job for helping me because there's only so much time I can put into this ministry or any ministry yeah. and not put it home. Yeah. See, you, you 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 can't do total allegiance to two different things. Yeah. The requirement that yeah. I can you cannot. And see, the devil will have when you believe it because you can commit to two and three things at the same time. Yeah. You can't. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. Not because I said you can't do it. It's because the word says we can't. Right. Can I be doing both? Can I be running back in between both of them? Sure I can. But it's not going to be successful because the word of God says, I cannot perform my duties of service at both at the same time. When God says we cannot do something, it means it won't work. Many are trying. I need to close with these things right here. We cannot serve doubt and faith. We cannot serve success and failure. We cannot serve progress and digression. What does that mean? You can't move forward and backwards at the same time. Right. As much as you love your car, you, you, you cannot make a car go forward and backwards at the same time. Yeah. It's either going to do one or the other. Yeah. And our relationship with God, he cannot move us forward and backwards at the same time. We cannot have love and hate at the same time. They cannot coexist. Finally, you cannot have obedience and disobedience at the same time. You may be doing it, but it's not working. We may be walking through it, Sister Kathy, but it's not working. And eventually, after a while, the prodigal son, go what he said. He said, after I had tried, if he could give his testimony to, 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 to do what the Bible said I could not do, that's why Jesus showed you. After I had tried to serve both countries, my allegiance to two different countries, I found out I couldn't. And he said, what did he say? And one day, when he had spent all the favor came, and then he began to want. 